Okay, the most common emergency call we get is a bird that has broken a blood feather, um, usually on the wing, occasionally on the tail. Um, so this macaw has a broken blood feather right here. Um, most of the shaft is intact, but part of it got cracked down here. It's already had some quick stop applied, and that's not going to control it, so we're going to have to pull it. Tail feathers are a lot easier to pull than wing feathers. Um, they come out more easily, but the same principles apply. One is you've got to hold on to the bird to kind of stabilize the body, but you don't want to hold on right over the base of that feather because you'll be pulling against yourself. So I'm going to just brace the finger up here near the vent, and it's going to hurt when I clamp down, so the bird's going to scream. I clamp down firmly and pull. Then I'm going to use my fingers to apply pressure to the follicle. And I'll hold that for, you know, 15 or 30 seconds and then we'll check. So we see that we got the entire feather out because the end of the shaft is smooth and rounded with a little hole in the tip where the blood vessel was. This is a big fat feather, so I expect there may be some bleeding from the skin. I usually don't want to apply quick stop to the skin because it burns. So, see this part doesn't, oh, blood is pouring out, okay, we're going to have to get uh, some gauze or something, I'm going to put the towel up in there. This bird doesn't preen herself well, that's why there are so many little um, pin feathers down here. I'm going to wedge the paper towel up in there and try to use it to help me hold the follicle. I'm sorry, sweetheart. So anyway, we're going to continue to apply pressure for a while and hopefully get that under control. The wing feathers, like I said, the wing feathers are much more firmly embedded. They do take a harder pull and, uh, you know, this is always going to be a two-person or occasionally a three-person job.